This is where you live. This is where you were born. And this is where you will die. Every human being was born. Laverdon has either died or will die here. It's a very big planet. Not everything that happens on it affects everyone who lives here. Much is relative only to localized occurrences. But that is not the narrative for today, is it? People have been trained over the last few decades to believe that this planet is incapable of sustaining our species and all life on it. That a day is coming when there will not be enough food, enough energy, enough space for all of us. And so, as men has always dreamed of doing, we are attempting to reach out into space itself to ensure the continuation of the human race. But there is a serious flaw in this endeavor, and it is not money, it is the love of it. If mankind was as important to those who are seeking our survival by moving out into space, that survival would take precedence over the money necessary for it. But that is not the case. If the destruction of this planet by the means that we use to continue our survival here was of the utmost importance, then this planet would be our main concern. But it is not. Self is... There is a time approaching when the Lord God will intervene again quite forcefully in the affairs of mankind. It is called the Tribulation Period, the days of Jacob's troubles, and leaving Earth to find a better place to live. Be in concern with the ozone layer or whether we should use fossil fuels or electric power is going to be the last thing on many people's minds in those days. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the Earth and the third part of trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. And that's just the first two. There are more, with files of wrath and thundering judgments to follow. There is a man of sin coming, a son of perdition. There will arrive with him a false prophet and a beast. There is a mark coming, and he curseth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Millions of people are going to disappear before these days begin, and billions are going to die during them. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. For a time after those who have been born again are removed, Life on this planet, at least in some places, will be relatively peaceful and prosperous. Three and a half years to be exact. The man of sin, known by the common name as the Antichrist, will not be seen as such, but as the savior of mankind, the one who will lead those that are left into a supposed bright future, the age of man. But that will change quickly. Two servants shall be sent by the Most High God, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues, as often as they will. One hundred forty for thousand will be sealed by the Almighty. Twelve thousand from each of the twelve tribes of Israel, for his service, to call men to repentance unto the Lord God through faith in Jesus Christ. Nearly all flesh on this planet is going to die, of man and beast, of fish and fowl, 
and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. There a Lord of glory will return, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessel of a potter shall there be broken shivers, even as I received of my father. You can see the warnings, you can see what is approaching, and you know for a fact that it cannot be stopped. You may be warning all who will listen, but I ask this question of you. Are you asking them the most important question after you have warned them? Are you asking them, who do you say Jesus Christ is?